Hello my friends, Samrilis here to play a demo of a game called The Star Named Eos. The Star Named Eos is about to release very very soon and uh, I think the store said July 2024. Um, so really soon from when I'm recording this demo. So definitely keep an eye on it on Steam if you are interested in this type of game. Um, from what I have seen, it looks to be kind of like a hidden object um, puzzle sort of game. Let's check out the settings real quick just to see. So there's a couple languages that, that can be chosen here. Um, there's voiceover. Oh, oh, three different options for voiceover. That's pretty impressive. There's a display option, vibration. Um, though Steam said that controller was not supported for this game, or at least the controller I have plugged in, which is the Xbox controller. So if you have an Xbox controller, you probably can't use it on Steam. And then there's some options here for vo uh, music, sound effects, voice, and ambience. Um, let's go ahead and get started. The way that this is wiggling is a little disconcerting. It makes me feel like our uh, point of view character is in the middle of perhaps stress or an anxiety attack. But let's go ahead and see. We got a little Polaroid. Day. Day. Ooh. Have you ever looked forward to opening your eyes? Color palettes are really pretty. Are we opening our eyes? Okay. Okay, yes. <laughs> Wanted me to turn. So we're looking, we're looking. We're holding onto someone's hand. Is it mom? What a... What a what a view right here though, honestly. Really amazing. Okay. Have you ever looked forward to the thing you've been chasing? Only to find it right in front of you. Is that the star? We're looking you directly see, in the sun. <laughs> everything shines. Everything. When you gaze at the stars. The stars also gaze at you. Mm. Looking at more stars. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes. Nor will they be dimmed by fleeting clouds. Just open your eyes. And you'll see shooting stars full of wishes. This feels like hey, a are you asleep? Earth adjacent planet with how dreamy everything looks. Not precisely Earth, but it could be Earth. The uh, emphasis on Opening your eyes kind of reminds me of another game. Um, I forget the title of it, but it's one where you... I think it's VR based. Is mom leaving? Mom is gone? Oh, I guess our character doesn't have a voice. That dream again. The room is a little dim. Better turn on the table lamp first. Okay. We'll turn on the table lamp. Uh, but there was a game where um, it tracks your eyes and how much you're blinking, and every time you blink, time passes in that game. Which it sounds—it's such a cool concept. I've never seen a game do something like that. Um, but it also sounds very stressful. And I also don't have a VR kit. So anyway, we're gonna look at this. So photo of a train window. You'll be able to take a better shot, Mom. I remember seeing a similar scene somewhere. Dear Day, how are you? I can't stop thinking about you during my travels. As a photographer, I have to capture beauty with my camera. I know you're more talented than I am, Day, and I believe you'll be able to find even more beauty in this world very soon. You see, everything shines, everything. When you gaze at the stars, the stars also gaze back at you. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes, nor will they be dimmed by fleeting clouds. Just open your eyes and you'll see shooting stars full of wishes. I am writing this letter on the train to my destination. The red curtains and flowers make a good contrast against the greenery outside. Wish you were here to see it with me. Love, Mom. 
uh, while the game was loading up, I saw that I think this game studio is in Taiwan. Um, and the font that they chose here feels very reminiscent of the handwriting my mom has. Like something about it, the way that it's written. It's a little bit not quite the same as her handwriting, but like I, I think there's like a kind of a standard <laughs> Taiwanese handwriting from school that they learned. I wonder if mom's trip is going well. Got more photos, nothing else to click here. So we'll head on back. Um, wow, we've got a lot to look at. Hope I'll get to hold a photography exhibition someday. Okay, so we are day and we are, oh, look at all those cute little, little guys. Kind of taken after our mom here um, in terms of uh, interest in photography. Got little shoes. Slippers, also a very <laughs> Asian thing. Um, okay, we'll look at the computer, I guess. Oh, nope. Oh, we have to, okay, they want us to open the drawer. I was like, this is a weird point of view. I used to look forward to story time with mom. Little bug is sleeping. Little bug is awake. Little bug is looking for their friends and color, question mark. Bunny doesn't know. Asking the bear, they don't know. They have a different tick on their sweater. Everyone's little flower puddle is different. So we talked to the snake and the cat. And now it's dark and we are sleeping and sad. Ooh, are we a firefly? Were we looking for? Yes, we were looking for our firefly friends. Oh, we were lost. I kind of wonder what the significance of like the puddles on the pe the people, the animals clothing was. Okay, let's get rid of this. Dear Day, happy birthday. Take a look around you. If you pay attention, you'll find that the world is full of surprises. Guess what I got you? You've always wanted this. Love, mom. A camera. I got my dream birthday gift that year. All right, let's back out of that. We'll look at the calendar. I can't wait till the day I'll go stargazing with mom. It's marked on the calendar there. I feel like I've seen this shape somewhere. Okay, um, so I'm gonna have to write down <laughs> what petals were filled in in that book because I do not remember. Uh, all right, time to draw a flower. I wonder if the order matters. Okay, well, let's see. How many petals is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that makes it easy. Split evenly. Okay, hopefully it doesn't matter what order it is because I'm just filling in the petals that I see filled in right now. And I have to do it again with the right order, then I will be sad, but I will do it. Okay. So there's four puddles filled, it looks like. Let's uh, try that combination here. So we've got the top two. Oh, I think the order does matter. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we'll go back and do order. <laughs> okay. So the first one is the top left. And then the second one is to the side. Third one is up top. And then the fourth one is the bottom left. Let's try that out. All right, top left, then the side, then the top, then the side. Hmm, it did not open. Okay, well, maybe there are more petals to find. Um, news. There are some letters on the lock. Okay, so there's, it's like astral stuff. Let's come back to that. I'll write that down too. I haven't played a game uh, where it has you take notes like this in a while. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm glad I had a piece of paper handy. A potted plant to liven up the room. I am very bad at keeping plants alive. I don't think there's really anything significant with that yet. All right, can I, can I 
Okay, I just click and drag. Okay, I was gonna say, can I get out of this? A map. There are so many places I've never been to. There's a triangle here, which reminds me of the news uh, code we were just looking at. Is that a representation of mom? This wooden family seems to be missing something. It's missing me! Okay. Well, we'll have to keep that in mind. We got a TV. We got another safe. Wow, this is very much like a hidden object kind of situation. Um, so number code, the dry cabinet holds my birthday present from way back when. I think I know the password. Do you? Because I don't. So we're looking for a four number code. Oops, I pressed escape as if I could back out of it that way. Uh, all right, well, let's keep looking. I don't know what's the sticker on the TV, but I guess it's not important if it's not letting me look at it. There's a trophy and some stuff on the shelves here. Let's take a look. An album for my photography practice. It's been a while since I last took a photo seriously. Mmm, okay. So we've got a sun. Hearts. It's interesting that they have so much of their work around uh, on the rim, and they were excited to join the photography contest on, when I looked at the picture above the bed. But uh, they said it's been a while since they've Taking it seriously. Oh, we ripped out some pages, huh? Illustrated with cute characters. So maybe there are some uh, additional flowers that were ripped out for some reason. A lot of missing photos, it looks like. Can we take a look at this ripped page? Illustrated with cute characters. Turn. Is it telling me to turn clockwise? I don't know. I'll write this down. Uh, anything else to look at here? I think it was just the book. I wonder if the book had anything to do with like the star signs, but I guess we'll come back to that. Okay. A puzzle box I made. I always look forward to aligning the stars. All right. We need the stars to line up here. Um, I think, let's see. Um, the pins are keeping certain things in place. I wonder if we want to align on the bottom. Is that even possible? Well, let's just give it a try. Drop down. Okay, so only one pin at a time. Just nothing. Okay, can we reset it? Uh, okay. Oh, you can you can totally turn it. Okay, that's what the the arrows mean. Well, that certainly makes things more complicated. Uh, it also means that you can't reset either. It looks like so. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. You know, fall down? Oh, this is fixed in place. That's why it has a screw. Okay. Um, this one also has a screw. Oh boy. I'm not even sure in what way I want this to align. It's definitely not going to with the screw in the way like that. So am I trying to get them all in the center maybe? Um, it feels like that's kind of the only way that it can align if the screws cannot move. Um, so I want this to come down here, ah, but now this one's stuck. Probably shouldn't have done that. I guess I can undo it. 
How do I make this work? Okay, well, this star here should be fairly easy to get back into place, so maybe we'll do that last in case we need the, the room to maneuver. Um, so what are we... What are we trying to do here? Can we get some of these guys out of the way? And then maybe drop this? Oh, I don't know if I wanted to do that. I don't think I did. <laughs> I'm definitely a little surprised that there isn't a way to uh, reset the puzzle because I've definitely messed around with it a lot at this point. <sighs> okay, the goal is to get the plain rocks into the corner if I'm able to. I don't know if I can do that. Um, if we turn this, get this one here. Oh, okay, maybe we can make a little more room this way. Oh, do I get it? Got it by accident? <laughs> That took a while. Okay, so there's a crank. Unique carvings on it. Okay, so maybe I needed this crank handle on the flower in order in order to actually open um, that thing over there. Okay, cool. It just stays open now because we're done. Um, we can look out this window. I feel like I've seen this before. I want to capture this scene, but how? Well, I need curtains. <laughs> I don't have a. I don't have curtains. I need flowers, curtains, <laughs> quite a bit. Let's come back to this. Um, can I look at something else? Thank you. Okay, we got a little horse. This intricate box plays the melody of my memories. Oh, the crank goes in here. Okay, never mind. little guy. That's me. Wooden boy doll. He's looking a bit lonely. I was thinking this was going on for a while. I was like, Shh, there's, it's already gone a full carousel, hasn't it? It's like, there's only room to fit like four horses in there, right? Surely. Surprised that we could keep going. Collectible poster. I should put it up somewhere. Fighter. Well, it feels like I'm supposed to put it there because there's like a open spot there. I guess I can try it and then if it's not the right thing, hopefully they'll let me take it back down. Okay. Do I need to be closer? A blank wall. Now the wall is full of memories. Okay. Do I want to look at this more closely? The shapes look symbolic. Uh, is it like moon and then star as the code? I am unsure. Moon star, and it looks like a triangle there. Okay, what do I have in my inventory? I need to find a number code. I need to open the flower box, and then I'm not sure what that is supposed to mean. There's also a stars over there. Okay, maybe let's put this back. Oh, was the was the snake's sweater like upside down? Is actually number three the bottom petal? It seems like a weird detail, but okay, I guess. <laughs> Uh, well, let's try it again. One, two, bottom side. 
Hey, it opened. Okay, that was a weird detail in that story, I, I will say. Origami flowers, a gift I made for Mother's Day. So we'll add those to the scene to mimic the train. Um, I still need to find curtains. That's going to take a little while. Oops. Ah! Don't back out of it, please. Um, can I put the flowers in the vase, please? <laughs> okay, well... I want to put the flowers in the vase. That's where it's supposed to go if we want to mimic the picture. But it's not really letting me. Just backing out automatically. Okay, well, uh, we'll keep trying. So the ones we're waiting on are the number code and then the astrology code. So they've already said that the, um, oh, I like the little dust mode texture. Uh, they've already said that the symbols look symbolic. Shapes look symbolic. I don't know, I could do moon star, but that's only two out of the, the four I need. It's kind of interesting that it says news as well. Um, and that doesn't align with any of the words in fighter. News was on the, um, the safe. So, not really sure. And there was nothing on the back of the poster, or at least I am no longer to get it, if it was there. Um, we're all smiling so happily in this photo. Ah, oh, we looked really far away at that. <laughs> There's so many places I've never been to. Feels like that should be important. But perhaps it's not. There are some letters on the lock. Yeah, I see that. News. So there's diamond, moon, star, sun, triangle, diamond, diamond. Okay. So we've seen triangle here but I don't know how that correlates with any of the word news that I've seen well, I guess we'll write down triangle and there was definitely the sun on the fighter poster uh, have we seen I mean there was also the sun on the book um, Trying to see if there were any other... There's planet and a star, a bunch of little stars, but I don't know if that really means anything. Hmm. And there's a... A happy family once more. Doesn't look like there's... A dra like drapes, a set of drapes anywhere. Really can't look more at, at any of these. Oh, uh, does this globe have to do with that globe and also the two ship stickers? Maybe the code is like, how many ship stickers are there on this map? <laughs> that would be pretty hard to calculate. between two land masses. Above the equator. Well, I don't know if there's an equator here. So many places, that's the only hint. I was like, does this compass <laughs> mean something? Nothing else to look at in the box to hold my favorite treasures. Yep, that's done. 
stargazing with mom. Got Paris. I mean, this was an empty drawer, which was very suspicious. No, nothing in there? Okay. Five, oh, 0524. I mean, we can try that as our combination. It seems to be written very prominently, and it looks like maybe the camera comes out from that. Uh, so we can try this. I haven't seen any other numbers around. Okay, that opened. Pocket compass. It's missing some parts, so it doesn't work. Some of the patterns are worn away. Okay, we got our camera. I can use it to capture every moment of life. So we took care of the numbers. So we're still waiting. I hope the camera mom gave me still works properly. You want me to take a picture of this? Oh, we can scroll. Okay. This looks like the photo mom sent me, but it's lacking something. Yeah, the flowers in my inventory you won't let me put in. Okay. Yeah, can I can I put the flowers in here yet? <laughs> looks a bit like the photo mom sent me. Can I really take a better shot? Yep, I added the flowers. That already helps. So we do have a compass now. Will it let me use the compass on this? <laughs> Can I just look at this a little more? Missing some parts. So the sun is on the north. So that's probably the code on that safe, but I'm still missing east, west, and south. Oh, new stands for east, west, and south. Okay. Usually I go in the order of never eat soggy waffles. <laughs> I go in a circle rather than doing a cross. So, I mean, the moon looks like it's on the west, but I don't know if that's guaranteed here. That's... Maybe it's south? Maybe the, uh... It's telling me that there's two stars on this one, and like, there's star in the north, star in the south. And then I haven't seen diamonds or stars or moons anywhere that I know of. There's a star there on the date that we're meeting mom. Triangle. But the triangle's north. Is triangle one of the options? No, it's diamond, moon, star, sun. Oh, there is upside down triangle. Okay. So if the triangle has to be upside down, is that... Does that count as east? I'm writing it down. Uh, so the last thing we're potentially finding is west. I don't know if it's in this book or not. Anything seem kind of west-ish? I do like the music. It's very calming and a little chipper and inquisitive. I like the music choice. Supercars. I feel like these boat stickers have to mean something. This TV is also very suspicious. <laughs> I think I've already exhausted everything in the book. Uh, and not the book, the computer corner. Haven't done anything yet with the calendar date. It is on potentially a Saturday, if it goes from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday order. But we already have another sun for news. Um, maybe the last one is not findable and you just have to try all the combinations. So we'll try having suns on both the N and the S. 
and then we'll have the upside down triangle on E for east, and then we'll just try W one by one. Okay. Well, I guess this wasn't the code. Hmm, quite the conundrum. Nothing, nothing at my feet. Okay, yeah, nothing left on the family. Is there, are there any other, um, photos in the, in the camera thing? Okay, there's one I, one photo I took. Okay, no, no pre-taken photos. Can zoom in if we want to look more closely at stuff, but I don't know if we want to. Can't read that. Oh, is it upside down? Hold on. Uh... Nope, I don't know how to read that. I turned my head. I couldn't see. This is cute. Uh, supercars. There is like this little robot guy and the trophy that we haven't done anything with, but I don't think we can. I feel like we're not done with the book yet. I zoom in on the ship. Books are not of interest. There's a telescope. Star... Star something. <laughs> Mom and me! Um, I guess we haven't looked... There's a diamond there. Hope I'll get a hold of photography exhibition someday. Diamond makes me think it should be one of the symbols, but... It's like above the bed. Which doesn't really mean anything in the nor northeast, west, south uh, significance. Uh, let's check the letter again in case there's anything in here. I don't think so. Compass. Can I take another photo? They're gonna say the same thing. Okay. It doesn't really look like mom's photo. <laughs> okay. Well, the plant is also on the wrong side. Okay, is that what we were supposed to do? We're also upside down. Like, the thin bar is at the top of Mom's photo, in addition to the uh, drapes that we don't have. I mean, I'll take another photo, but... Uh, we're still missing drapes. Like Bob's photo. Closer. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope I don't run out of chances to take photos. I think it said like one out of 80 or something. I am very stumped. It's not a good sign in the demo if you uh, can't get past the single puzzle. <laughs> that they've uh, established for you. Like, is this a reference to the Bermuda Triangle or something? I'll look at this again, but like, I can't read this. It looks like it's an M upside down or W, I guess. Like, is this whole map upside down? M. Like, are these actual words, or are they just, like, approximations of words? Mm. 
Okay, well, time for me to Google what the solution is. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. There were other people who were also confused about the Northeast-West-South puzzle, so I am not alone. The star on what I'm assuming is Saturday, which I cannot completely confirm, uh, that's one of the symbols. Um, I think the hint was supposed to be that because everything on the compass was worn out except for the sun, which the sun was on the moon poster over here. <laughs> is that confusing? The sun was on the moon poster. I think this is intending to tell you that this side is north. So then this wall is north and then this wall is therefore east and it has the map and the upside down triangle. And then this would be south. Um, south was... What symbol was on south? Oh, south was the star because of the calendar. And then this leaves you with west, and that is the apparently the diamond on the bedroom. Um, when I saw it explained to me like that, I guess it made sense, but I guess it was just confusing because there were a lot of other, like, I don't know, like similarly themed things. And like, I didn't, I didn't think of using the compass in terms of like, this wall is north, and this is east, and this is south, and this is west. I don't know. Just not the way my my brain worked, I guess. So we'll, we'll go ahead and see if my explanation was correct. So north is the uh, sun, sunburst. East is the triangle. West is the diamond um, above the bed. And then the star is south. There it was, that's the solution. So we finally got our curtains. These look like the curtains in mom's photo. Maybe I should put them up. And I think after I take the photo with the drapes, I think this will probably be it for the demo. Um, hello, let me put these on, please. Okay, now this looks like mom's photo. Let's take our picture. How far in do we need to zoom? Dear Day. I've always believed that seeing it gives it reality. If you see something and experience it as beautiful, there is beauty. My photo of a window. Mom saw the same view too. The red curtains and flowers contrast nicely with the rolling green fields outside the window. This is the view she saw back then. Oh! Demo's not over? Today. A letter addressed to me. Photo of delicious food. Feel every moment of life with your heart. Mom, it looks so good I can almost smell it. Mmm. A tasty sandwich. Dear Day, the camera I gave you is the best I've ever had. It has to be that good to match your talent. I'm now in a big, bustling city. When I take a break from work, I often come to this cafe to sit by the window and watch the people passing by. With your talent of capturing beauty, I wonder what photos you could take here. I've always believed that seeing it gives it reality. If you see something and experience it as beautiful, there's beauty. But more importantly, the food is amazing here. I hope to share this with you sometime. I look forward to our promised day. Uh... I feel like the story is going to be sad because our protagonist already said that they, it's been a long time since they've taken photos and I feel like we're chasing mom's memories and letters at this point. Um, but perhaps mom is already long gone. <laughs> because mom keeps talking in first person, or present tense rather, not first person, I mean she is talking in first person, but she keeps talking in present tense as if I've been taking tons and tons of photos. but. Yeah, if there's been a long time since then, either mom is never home and doesn't know that we don't take photos anymore, or we gave up taking photos for a while. Where's the train going? Um, and now we're back in it. Okay, I really thought the demo was going to be over at that point. I was ready to give my final thoughts. <laughs> but uh, perhaps we get one more. So can I also take a photo of what mom saw? Okay. No reaction. All right, well, let's look at this placemat in front of us. Ooh, we are, we are wiggling. <laughs> Day, are you asleep? 
the uh, home screen also made me feel a little sick in the same way. Okay. <laughs> so my instinct was correct. That was the end of the demo. The star named Aos. Thank you for playing our demo. Follow us and stay tuned for more. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, I think the art style is beautiful. I think they've picked wonderful colors for their palette. Again, I really appreciated the little things like the dust moat um, and the... How do I say this? It, it doesn't strive for realism. It goes for like a really dreamy kind of feel for it. And that's like an atmosphere I really appreciate in the star named Eos. Um, I guess the downside of any sort of puzzle-like game is that like if you don't have a built-in hint system, players are going to get stuck, and the only way they're going to get unstuck is either by brute forcing it, which is what one person did on the Steam forum I saw when trying to figure out the astrological code. They either brute force it that way, or they look online for an outside guide, or they give up. Uh, it's kind of those three options. So if you don't have a built-in hint system, that's basically what's going to happen. And I guess the reality is puzzle games click with different people. The solution might be obvious to you as a puzzle maker or perhaps even as a player, but it might not be obvious for everyone else because people's brains all work differently. So that's kind of the trouble and, and downside and pitfalls of puzzle games in general. But that being said, um, I really like the music. I really like the visuals. Um, I'm very intrigued and interested in the kind of story that this game is trying to tell because I'm already making a lot of like predictions and hypotheses about what's happening. So that part I do like. Uh, so, I mean, I'll still wishlist this game and keep an eye out for it. But for me, uh, definitely the North, East, West, South directional astrological puzzle was one that I had quite a hard time with. Um, and it sounds like at least a good handful of other folks also had a difficult time with that particular puzzle. But if this is a game that you like, definitely check it out on Steam. It is releasing once again uh, in July of 2024. So depending on when you watching when you are watching this, it might already be out. Uh, it, again, it's called The Star Named Eos. I hope you had a good time and they have a great day. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Goodbye.